All right, y'all. In another case of selective outrage, Little Nas X issued an apology to the transgender community after he was accused of sharing a now-deleted photo that mocked transitioning. Now, after receiving backlash, Little Nas X clapped back and wrote, I'm literally just saying she looks like me. Y'all cannot be serious. Lil Nas X eventually apologized and tweeted, apologies to the trans community. I definitely handled the situation with anger instead of considering why it was not cool. Take it away, Funky. So you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very honest. This particular story is another one like the gypsy story, right? Where I could easily see myself have making the same mistake. You know, for those who don't know, Little Nas X found a, a picture of uh, uh, somebody that favored him and said, you know, this is me, I'm transitioning. And it caught some heat. Um, we're learning. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing that I can say. We're learning. And I think when it comes to offending people, the offense is not really what you unintentionally say or do. I think it really becomes offensive when somebody points out the offense and then you double down or don't at least attempt to take a moment to see where the person is coming from. Now, for me, on the surface, my gut response would have been the same as Little Nas X. Simmer the hell down. It's not that serious. I was just making a joke. But if somebody tells me that it's, it hurts them, I owe it to them to at least step back and try to see it from their perspective. And so, I'm, you know, he circled back around and said, I'm sorry for anybody that I offended. But again, it's one of those things where this is very new to us, the understanding of it all. And grace has got to be given while we learn what's appropriate and what's not. Let, let me ask you something. Did the person look like him? It did. Yes, the person did. Yes. So, so, so really, um, right so everybody is, okay, I'm going to take the trans community out of this. It's not just about the trans community. I feel like even things that are based on truth, someone can find it offensive, right? Like, it's mm -hmm. like, we are looking for a reason to be pissed off and be mad and be offended and be hurt. Um, he's saying the person looked like him. How bad could he have been? Um, Al, what do you think about this story? <laughs> I loved it. Q, he didn't say simmer down. He told the person to eat his ass. That was where his exact words, oh. right? Oh, well, there I you mean, go. that's what he said. That, that that's a quote. To simmer down. <laughs> <laughs> that translates to simmer down. No, he told the person, like, look, listen, Little Nas X has tackled so many difficult conversations as it relates to sexuality in the United States. Give the man some freaking grace. I thought it was funny. I wasn't offended. We got other things in our community relating to trans that we need to focus on. Let's talk about the 400 bills that are in legislation, which is trying to take away your basic rights as transgender individuals, uh, taking away your health care. Um, what else? <clears throat> They don't even view you as human. Right I to think marry. you need to be right, right to marry. I think you need to be tweeting and upset about the legislation in the states that you live in that are that are doing this instead of being attacking someone who has taken on so many issues and done them in such a prideful way for our community. I just think the outrage in this case doesn't hit as close and as significant as this person or whoever's being offended. And might I add. Once again, it's the peanut gallery getting more pissed off than the actual person involved because I hear that she was actually happy that he reposted it and she retweeted it and said that we overreacted. Nice. So, you know, a big star like Little, Little Nas X reposts that and says that you look like them and she's probably a fan. Um, she wasn't as mad as the peanut gallery and the people on the sidelines that it had nothing to do with. So once again, people are on, ready on go to be mad about something and the person involved wasn't even mad.